So yeah, Moonbray looking to get another upset win under his belt here against Charlie the King. You know, our, PG, our PR season is ending this month, so you know he's making one last little push for it, saying I really want to get on here. Uh, maybe I can get a couple more wins tonight, make make a case for myself. Right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if Charlie, if Charlie loses this one, I'm sure I will hear somewhere in the venue him loudly complaining about Ness. Uh, <laughs> as he usually guy. does. He's a passionate guy. Yeah, he does. Uh, he is. And, uh, I mean, I, I, that's definitely something that I think makes him very good at this game. This is his passion and uh, his frustration. <laughs> so whatever motivates you, dude. All right, so off to the races here. Already healing from 0%, back down to 0% here for Lumbre. Yeah, the immediate uh, Psy Magnet. I feel it not really accomplishing much except sending a message. Send like, a message saying, hey, remember how you can't use that? I don't want to have to deal with that, so don't try. And he falls Ooh. out of the upbeat. So Lumbre is starting off confidently here. That definitely would have been a stock if he was able to connect the PK Rocket. Fortunately, he's not, and Charlie's going to take that. With, and now he's gonna take the lead. Yeah, probably with these little combos coming in. Okay, and this PC, PK magnet movement coming in from Lombri. That's part of what I think makes this character really interesting and sick. Uh, talking about Ness, of course, is a, C, a PK magnet movement through all kinds of options and just sort of micro spacing in the air. Ooh, did Lombri just look to footstool him? Didn't work out, but no, he got the Phantom Footstool because yeah. uh, Charlie went for that jump right there. Oh, and he waits for the air dodge up here into another voter. That's so much damage. Lumbri without a jump here, but he fights his way back. Yeah, but he's already looking grim for Lumbre. He's off stage again, and he's, he's just taking the brunt of Charlie's combo game here with this character. Okay. <laughs> I love that interaction there, how Charlie was just sort of ran away from that grab. Yeah. It's just such a funny that sound to me, and that's going to be 37 and a back throw. Lumbre looking to take this stock off Charlie. Alright, Nair and Lumbre even this game out rather quickly, but dash grab from Charlie forward th or down throw rather gonna keep it Lumbre off stage. He's looking for the F toe, but he doesn't find it. Great roll by a parry on the back here. That's gonna be huge for Charlie as he's oh, able to Yeah, opposite side of the stage though. Won't kill, but that sure will. Wolf dash attack kind of interesting a hitbox. It's got the one in the front that sends you outward and the the yeah, he's got two different hitboxes, and both of them kill, and they kill in opposite directions. So you have to <laughs> change your DI based on which one. Really good move. Okay, yeah, the attack canceled bear right there coming out. Oh. All right, and oh, the nice. Nair, but sends the wrong way. way. Put Charlie finding his way back to center, and uh, putting him back out there again. Ooh, and the up smash actually flanking with Charlie's up beat, so he's able to make it to ledge for pretty much free. Back throw for Charlie, yeah, not as strong as Ness is, so it's not going to be able to kill, but he's done a great job of just playing this anti-grab. Yeah, Charlie getting a little greedy there, getting punished, but he was ready for the negative consequences. And that back air closing it out. bloombray has got a lot of rage. Ness has some strong moves. He could bring this back. Yeah, ne I mean, we've seen Char or Lumbre rather put some big damage combos onto Charlie, but, you know, are we going to see another one, or will Charlie be able to close this out? Basically, anything Wolf has can do it. And a bit of a mistake there from Lumbre spacing himself just a little bit too far when he started the... Yeah, I don't think he was uh, too far away yeah. from the stage to make that happen. Unfortunately for him, he was. I mean, even at like the the apex of his jump there, I don't think he could have made it back. Maybe you could grab the ledge from lower. I actually don't know how that works. Three, two, or, uh, okay. 
I think you have to be higher because uh, Ness falls when you're doing the the uppy very slowly. Yeah, just a little bit. Okay, yeah, Charlie wanted more there. Let's try to send him up. Oh, and a great call out. No jump on Loombray, but an air dodge is going to keep him alive. But for how long? Charlie is on the hunt. And a down. Oh. Gets the tech on the late hit of the PK that Rocket as well. Wild. Same that trade there. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Yeah, I think maybe we'll just say that on commentary. Okay, okay. He hit him. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So uh, this guy hit oh him. Oh my God! Oh, Charlie. He I swear he's leading the game when it comes to these wolf flash confirms. I don't see any other wolves just going for them as often as he does, and they always connect. And another hit. Oh. Is on fire right now. Yeah, not even the fire that Loombray wants, obviously being PK fire, but instead a fire of his own because he can, Loombray cannot catch a break here against the wolf. Dude, this is just aggressive. Okay, and Loombray finally finding his footing here. But as they say in the business, it may be too little or too late. Charlie still has all three of his stocks. Yeah, and we know he's not afraid to go out there with these wolf flashes and things like that. When he has the lead, he does. Just gonna run up, grab, back throw, good DI from Charlie. He's not gonna die to it. Okay, there. Oh, oh, that's just gonna be it. To the ledge, he tries to hit him. Yeah. All right, and Charlie with a pretty commanding free stock to end up the set here. Moving on into winner's semifinals.